Hey friends, I'm Lisa with Made to Create with Lisa, and it is Monday afternoon. I can see that glare in my glasses. Um, it's Monday afternoon, and we are still decorating for spring. And um, let's see, last week we made a cute little bunny, which actually I have right here. Um, if you watched last week's live or if you caught the replay, and I told you we were gonna come back and do um, a couple other animals. And so that's what we're gonna do today, okay? So we're going off of this idea and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep that guy close by. Um, what we're using is again, one of these um, squares. They're wooden squares from the Dollar Tree. Hey Sue, thanks for being here. Um, this is just from the Dollar Tree and it was actually this color, this natural wood color, and then I stained it um, to be a little bit darker because I wanted it to be darker. You could do it whatever you wanted. If you wanted to leave it plain, I think it'll look great. But this is what I did to mine, okay? So that's what we're using today as well as, again, our In Good Taste Designer Series paper. Um, and then just some other this is and that's, um, you know, some embellishments and ribbon and stuff like that, okay? So, hey, Karen. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive in, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing today, okay? Let me point you down. So Facebook changed all of their, the placement of all of their buttons. <laughs> and so I gotta figure out where everything is, and, uh, and I hope that I won't mess up. Anyway, okay, so like I showed you, I'm showing you this close up. It's the wood cube and it was um, this natural color and then I just stained it to be the wood color, okay? Then I had my husband drill a hole in it. Let me show you, well, I don't know how much I can show you from the last one that we did. I guess it's covered by moss so you can't see it. But we used the skewer and stuck it in and then we were able to make that cute little guy um, you know, kind of like as a little shelf sitter, right? Okay, so we're basically gonna do that same thing today. I have just a skewer from the Dollar Tree, again. It's like a bag of skewers, you know, that you would use for shish kebabs. And um, what I did actually is I used just some heavy duty scissors and cut it down, because it was actually a little bit longer. And I just cut it down so that it wouldn't be too terribly tall sticking out here. and who knows, maybe we'll uh, trim it down a little bit more after I'm all done, we'll see. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is make a little sheep, okay? I guess you could call it a lamb um, since it's spring. Um, but I guess I just put that it's a sheep. It can be full grown. <laughs> and so what I have is a little template that I drew out for myself. Now, I got this original idea from another crafter that I saw. Um, her name is also Lisa. And um, she had a template that was similar. But since I'm using Stampin' Up! products, um, I needed to make it smaller to fit, you know, the thing that I was doing. So, so I just made a smaller version of this little template, okay? And what I did is I took a full sheet of our 8.5 by 11 cardstock and then I folded it in half, and I didn't make it like super, super sharp, okay? I didn't want, I, I didn't need like a full-on massive crease here, but I wanted it um, flat enough that I could kind of sandwich it together like that, all right? I mean, this was a full sheet of cardstock. Then I put my guy on here, and I traced around it with a pencil, and I cut it out. Now, if you can see, I still do have some pencil lines here and that's fine. We'll just put that on the inside like that, okay? So what we are going to do first is go ahead and crinkle this up. <laughs> I know some people can't stand the crinkling, but it gives your project a ton of texture and um, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. There we go. A ton of texture and so that it doesn't look quite so flat, okay? And you could obviously use stamps and um, 
and like stamp some texture or draw some texture, but this just gives natural texture to the cardstock. Now, it is very common when I wad up cardstock that I many, many times actually spray it with a little, spritz it, I wouldn't say spray it. You just lightly spritz it with a little bit of water. And I find that it, it just helps the fibers wrinkle a little bit better. But then you do have to kind of dry it off or let it dry. And I didn't want to have to take the time to do that. So I'm just doing it dry today. Okay. So I'm just doing it several times so that it gets a nice texture going here. Okay. Now you can see we will lay it out. I think that that's good enough. Let's lay it out. This is my template, so I'm just gonna sit that aside. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so what we are going to do is just get this laid out. It did tear a little bit on the edge, but again, that doesn't bother me at all. It gives that shabby look to it. Okay, so now here he is. This is our little sheep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I have my fabulous hot glue gun here. And I am just putting a little line of hot glue, just a little bit at a time, okay? I'm not trying to do the whole thing at once. Um, I find hot glue to be very difficult to use with paper. I find that it doesn't super stick super, super well. So I always have to push it and hold it. It doesn't go as quickly, in my opinion, as it does like on fabric. Okay, so some of that squeezed out and that's fine. We'll just take that off, okay? And then we'll go a little bit further. We'll go kind of around the bend here of his head. And then we'll take a pause, and make sure that that's really good and squished together. So tell me how you're doing. We had beautiful weather this weekend in the Pacific Northwest. And so my husband and I actually got a little bit of yard work done yesterday. It was like 65 degrees, absolutely perfect spring day. But I have a question for you. It is a serious question. Do any of you suffer with plantar fasciitis. I have to tell you that I've had it for about four months now and oh my goodness it is some of the worst pain I have ever had and I have had several pretty bad injuries the last couple years. So we did go out and do some yard work but I didn't do as much as I would have liked to do because my husband and I went walking on the waterfront the other day and <laughs> So then yesterday I couldn't really hardly walk. So that was kind of lame. <laughs> okay, now see how I have the, the back open here? So I am going to grab some polyfill, okay? This is a very gigantic bag, so I can't really fit it in the camera. But it's just this, you know, batting stuff that you would find like to put into pillows or whatever. You could even use an old pillow. Um, you could even use crinkled up paper if that's what you had on hand, you know, like um, I've seen people, you know, when they need stuffing for things, they even use like old grocery bags. I know that here in Washington, we have to pay for our bags now, so I don't use them as liberally as I used to. But um, anyway, if you get one bag of polyfill from Walmart, it's going to last you forever. Okay, I'm just trying to get it in the head a little bit. I don't want these gigantically stuffed. I just want it to look just a little bit puffy. Again, just so it has a little bit of, of texture. And because I have so much open there, it's kind of popping back out. So let's go ahead and glue that part of the head together right there. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so this morning I spent time online 
whoops, no glue came out. I spent time online researching shoes and I'm finally going to bite the bullet and buy some shoes that have good support for my dumb foot. <laughs> And uh, hopefully it will start getting better. My dad had it for like 10 years. So it's not like I'm thinking it's going to go away immediately. But I've already had it for four months. My plantar fasciitis. And I'm, I'm totally ready to be done. Okay, so I'm just stuffing that in and just kind of holding it together like that. And then I'm going to go in and... I know that you can't see this, but I'm trying to hold that stuffing in place. And that might, ouch, okay. That might be a little too close to the border. Okay, I think I messed myself up there. Let me push this in with this skewer. All right, now if any of it sticks out, we will just trim it with our scissors. But like I told you, with cardstock, you really have to push. Otherwise, for some strange reason, it just doesn't adhere very well. Okay. I think, I think I've got it. <laughs> but I do have glue and stuffing all over my fingers now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just use my scissors here and trim any glue and stuff that's sticking out. I think that it's pretty good though, actually. There's a little bit here on the nose. There. And these didn't line up perfectly, so I will just trim a little bit of the cardstock away here. There. Oh, see on this side how that didn't match up? So I'm just gonna trim that away. And because it's wrinkled, you can't um, really tell if it's not exact. So that kind of helps. Okay, so here is our little shabby chic, vintage looking sheep. Okay, I realize he's not looking very cute yet, but we gotta get some time here. All right, I'm looking for my marker. Okay, I'm bringing in our black. This is the dark basic black blend, okay? And I'm gonna use the brush end. And I'm going to use that to basically make his little face. So I'm going to just draw a line. This isn't super scientific. And then we will color him in. All right, so it's like his full nose and all that. Now, isn't it starting to look a little bit more sheepish? Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to match up my, I'm looking at my lines. I think that's about right. Okay, so we'll make a line on this side. He is double-sided, so you do need to be sure to do both sides. Otherwise, when he turns around, <laughs> he won't have a face on this side. Okay. So this is going to be his nose and face area. Now, can you see it coming together a little bit more? Isn't that cute? Okay, so you gotta tell me if you think it's starting to look like a little sheep. Okay, now what I did is I pulled out some of our black cardstock and I did the same exact thing. But can you tell um, that I sprayed this one with water? Can you see how much more intensely wrinkled that is than this? This one, the, the wrinkles are a little bit bigger and this is very intensely wrinkled. And that's because I sprayed this one with water like I, like I told you that I like to do. So I, the only reason I folded that in half is so that I could cut two ears at a time. And I am just eyeballing some little fuzzy, well, they're not really fuzzy. They are kind of fuzzy just because of the wrinkled fabric. 
but I just eyeballed some little ears. Okay, I'm rounding that a little bit more. And now we will glue on his little ears. Now, I don't know anything about sheep, to be honest. So I don't know if they are the female versus the male. What's more important? What people like to own more? You know, like with chickens, we only want females because we want the eggs. So um, I don't know what's important when you have sheep. Maybe it's not important at all. I have no idea. But sheep are definitely, newborn little lambs are definitely a sign of spring. So, okay, we got that on there. We'll trim up that little edge. Whoops, some glue there. Okay, now his face is coming together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm taking one of our old handheld hand punches. You can use anything here to just make a little hole, but remember how we are I'm gonna put a little skewer through there so that he can stand. So I just punched a little hole there. Okay, that's nothing, no big deal. Now, what we're gonna do to finish him off is I have our awesome baker's twine, okay? And I'm using the black. And I'm just creating a little tail for our sheep. And I am just tying this several times to make that knot really fat because we're gonna be attaching it with um, a blob of hot glue. So I need to make sure that it's nice and large, okay? So it's just a nice, big, fat knot, nothing special. And I am cutting it off right at the base there because that's what we're gonna glue on. And I feel like that tail is a little bit long. So let's trim that off. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of try to get that messy, try to get it to untangle the little threads in there. There. Okay, and now we will glue this on there. So I'm just gonna put my glue actually directly on the onto the tail and we will stick it on his little bum. Okay, and hopefully that'll stick. If it comes off, I can just do it again. Okay. What do you think? Okay, so to make it a little bit cuter, we will pull in our awesome black and white gingham ribbon. And I'm going to do like a slip knot here to put around his neck. Let's see, I'm trying to keep it flat. And I need to make it big enough that it will go over his head. Okay, and then we will slide it up there so that he can have like a little, it's not a bow, what should we call this? It's not really a halter, but I mean, I guess he's having a little, <laughs> a little decor around his neck, right? Uh oh, did I just pull that too tight? Okay. Okay, so now we will cut that off. And now he has a little decor. Okay, now I told you that we were going to use some of the In Good Taste paper. Now this paper is retiring. They just announced the retiring list. And this paper is gonna be retiring with this catalog. It is so fantastic with all of these basic wood grains and just, awesome awesomeness so be sure to get some of that before it sells out there are several things from the retiring list that have already sold out that fast yes it's a fancy collar i agree with you nicole <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I just cut out a little tiny strip of the um, of this light colored wood grain. And again, you could pick anything you wanted, but this is the one that I chose. And you'll notice, of course, that you can cut it with, you know, like up and down grain or side to side grain. But I'm just wrinkling this up so that it all kind of goes together. I mean, goes together with this look, okay? And we are just basically gonna make him a little pocket. All right, so let's just put some glue. Actually, I'm just gonna do it on the side there. Let's make sure we like where it's gonna go. And I'll glue that side down and then I can peel the whole thing back and do it on that other side. I see the sun peeking out. It is almost dinner time-ish here in Washington. And the sun's coming out right at the end of the day. Okay, I'm putting glue all the way down here. Again, we're just making a little pocket. And we'll flap that over and hold it on. Get that to adhere. I did get some of that a little bit too much, so I have some squeezing out the bottom there. So it's easiest to kind of wipe it away while it's still wet if you can handle touching it when it's hot. Don't burn yourself, of course. Okay, now we have a little pocket. So I am pulling in some of our brushed metallic dots here and using my ever trusty take your pick tool. I think that I am going to use, um, hmm, I'm trying to decide. Maybe I'll use this copper colored ones. And I'm just having it look like there's little um, nail heads right how cute okay and then the last thing we will add here is i picked up this big um spray of greenery at michael's and look at that it's called a stem <laughs> a stem oh it's from spring the spring line and of course i never pay full price so this was on sale but i wanted some greenery in my stash I also had a friend give me this last year, and um, while it is cute, I've started deconstructing it and using it, don't tell. So I already ripped off some of the pieces here, okay? And um, we are going to, this is what's gonna kind of give it that ultra farmhouse look. You could stuff anything in his pocket. But if I stuff in a little bit of lavender, a little bit of greenery, gotta cram that in there. There. Okay, what do you think? And now I'm gonna take the skewer and I'm gonna, gotta push it in there through all of that stuffing that I stuffed in there. And then we will stuff it, or stick it onto the um, block. And I think it's fantastic. So I think what we're gonna go ahead is, and do is I'm gonna put some, some glue there and stick my guy on there. Okay, I know you're getting the top view, but just hold everything here. I'm going to grab, now just like we did with the, um, with the uh, bunny the other day, I just have a bag of green moss. You can just get any moss like this, you know. I don't honestly know if they have it at the Dollar Tree, but you can get it. Um, I got this moss several years ago, like at Michael's or something, and it just lasts forever. I mean, I guess unless you were using like a really huge thing to fill a pot or something, but 
we'll just stick on some moss to just because it looks cute for the ground. And we'll stick this on. Whoops. Uh oh. Now my guy moved. I want him to stay straight. Okay, I will turn this so that you can see it. Just a second here. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. Looks like he's falling a little bit. I might need to re glue that. Okay. <laughs> That's a perfect view. Okay, look at that. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Another cute little guy for spring. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you this where he's not falling. So I'm going to, I'm gonna bring you up so that you can see this a little bit better. Okay, now let me flip the camera around. All right, and then I can show you this front ways. So let me show you close up. Isn't that cute with the little pocket? Can you think of other things that would be cute in that pocket? I think one thing would be cute would be, um, you know those cotton bowls, the, the, you know those white cotton, they're, I think they're called a bowl, B-O-L, that you put on, um, I mean, I have like wreaths of them and stuff that are really farmhousey, but I've never seen them this miniature, but that sure would be cute too. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to show you was when we did the, um, I'm so glad you like it. When we did the um, bunny the other day, you know how I put on the hop? Guess what? Found out that these letters, our alphabet dies, are retiring. So these are something you totally want in your collection. So grab them before they sell out. Okay, that's just a side note. <laughs> okay, so these are the little spring animals that we have so far. Um, and here's what we did today. And I was going to put like BA, you know, B-A-A -A for a sheep on the bottom. But I don't know. I thought that it would kind of ruin the farmhousey look. So I left it plain. So you could add that too. That would be cute. Okay, then this was the other one that I made, my other prototype, which I didn't actually glue all the way together yet. So this one was made using our craft paper. And this is six by six, and that's why it's a little bit different. See how this is rounded on the bottom because I actually folded the cardstock and used one big piece of cardstock. This one had to be two separate pieces of cardstock, so they're actually glued together on the bottom um, because the paper is so small. So this one I just put greenery in there, and then look at what I did on the back. I shabbied it up by using a sponge with our early espresso ink and I just sponged it on to like shabby it up. That back part ended up being a little bit darker than the front. Can you see how I did that on there? Just to kind of make it look sort of old and, um, I don't know, old. <laughs> so um, anyway, so those are the two different versions that I have to show you. All right, so. I wish you could see this. I'll just hold my friends like this. So that's what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know, send me pictures, message me if you make any of these yourself. Um, I will take a picture and put it in the comments of my little template that I made. I just freehanded it so I know that you could, um, I know that you could freehand your own too. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you like it. Um, I will also put a link to my website to get this cute ribbon and the paper and all the stuff that I use to make it. And um, oh, one last thing I wanted to show you. I got my new annual.
no catalog in the mail. <laughs> so I'm starting my wish list, and this is the free stamp set that I got for signing up for our uh, Stampin' Up! Um, online event that's coming up pretty soon. So that's all the excitement I have for you today. So have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I will talk to you again soon. Don't forget that you were made to create. Bye-bye.